How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be using a subscriber's absolutely overpowered Bullfrog class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. Alright, so right here on the screen, this is the Bullfrog class setup I was just referring to. So it may look different, and when I start getting the attachments, you may be like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? There's no way this thing is good. After giving it a try, I can confirm that it is very viable, and for certain play styles, you definitely may like this thing. So let's get into it here. Five attachments for basically like always for my SMGs, where we have Flag Jacket, Tactical Mask, Scavenger, Assassin, Spycraft, and Gung Ho. So getting started here with the KGB Eliminator now, this attachment is actually extremely important on this particular build. So this is our primary source of our recoil control. This is at 13% for that vertical there. One thing that I'm a little, I was a little skeptical about is the fact that we're not covering any horizontal in this build, but I ended up finding that it did just fine. After everything was said and done, that vertical was really the big issue here with the Bullfrog. Now keep in mind, you do have that negative 10% to the shoot moving speed, and we also have 15% in the negative to the horizontal recoil control but uh, like i said for certain play styles this class setup could definitely be for you so if you find that you do not want to lose those negatives to the shoot moving speed and horizontal we have the spetsnaz compensator here which is at 12 percent, so it is one that can definitely be used and you're not going to be sacrificing that shoot moving speed so let's get down to the next attachment where we have the task force barrel the task force barrel gives us three percent damage but the big two are going to be that 50 percent added to the effective damage range and 75 percent to the bullet velocity that extra damage really does not help the TTK whatsoever. 3% is a very small amount. But that being said, that effective damage range and bullet velocity increase are definitely some big positives there. Getting down here to the underbar, we have the Bruiser Grip. Normally what I would use is the normal foregrip here, but the Bruiser did add some movement speeds. It's kind of like, contra like I guess, against itself here because we're losing the negative 10% with the KGB Eliminator. So in my opinion, I think you should take that off and go with the Spetsnaz Compensator but that's only because of these movement speeds here with the Thunder Barrel. I feel like this isn't doing much with that negative 10% to the shoot moving speed. Either that or just go with the normal foregrip here, whatever your play style suits best. So they did not normally have me using a magazine here. They had the uh, Gru Elastic Wrap. So I decided I wanted the Vandal Speed Loader. I'm not running a handle here. I wanted to go with the Vandal Speed Loader because I prefer that fast uh, reload speed, but just for your guys' sake, he was running the grill last crap and finishing us off with the stock here we have the wire now i don't personally know why people like to run the wire stock i understand it has no negatives but 10 percent uh increase to that sprint to fire speed you're not really hip firing that much especially without a laser sight and in my opinion hip firing isn't even that good in this game because of the slow sprint to fire speeds so personally i think you should chuck on either the no stock or the kgb skeletal because you are gaining that extra sprint to fire speed there at 30 percent and you are sacrificing hip fire accuracy, like I said. But chances are, if you're hip fire, if you're hip firing without a laser sight, you're going to be pretty close to them anyway. So it's going to be pretty accurate. That's just my take on the build. I did have a fun time using it, and we did get a pretty banger gameplay for you guys to watch. So without further ado, we're going to get into that now. I hope you guys enjoy. On some deep program, not a map that I typically run into a lot. I've been doing my best to expand that map pool for you guys. But sometimes that becomes a smidge of a challenge when you don't see some of the maps. Let's see if we can come up behind him here. Okay. Uh, well, I thought there was more than one. This map confuses me. Not all too familiar with it. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the map whatsoever. It's a pretty small map, but those teleporters do kind of turn me off the teleporters make the map play a little funny because uh there's only one way up and it's through the teleporters so um and we're gonna do our best here on this map get you something a little different Hard point contested. Contesting hard point. keep in mind this is not the easiest map for me to play not very nuke friendly now you may be asking what is a nuke friendly map nuke friendly maps are less cluttered uh much less cluttered than this map that dude's just running around with a molotov in his hand what an l dude i don't understand that's where people just have some pyromaniac tendencies that they're they're addicted to 
I'll take a kill. Can't see him, but I'll take it. Can't see him again, but I'll take it. Should come from right here. Dude is literally just running around with a Molotov in his hand. Okay, I thought I heard that voice and I actually thought it was a player. Hard point identified. Hostiles have the hard point. I refuse to go up in that objective. Refuse. You won't catch me up there. That is just a, a death sentence, if you ask me, because like I said, there's only two ways up. So there's only two ways up to an objective. You, you can kind of figure out what happens there. The you camp the two portals and call it a day. I don't have a grenade. Not that I don't I think it would help me very much. The answer to that, I don't think it would help me at all. Yeah, I'm just avoiding that. You need ninja, sir. You're good at flanking, but man, you need ninja. Hard point identified. Hostiles have the hard point. I think he's leaving the game. Let's get the spy plane up. I think it's a little premature for the harp only being on an 11. It is getting about time for the harp. It's getting about time for the harp because I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. Like, obviously, the objective is the easy answer, but it's the one that's not on the objective that's going to smoke me, so we're going to hit this. Oh, they're in there. I'm not. Nope. No, thank you. Not about it. All you. Oh, the next objective is right here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to back up. We're on too big of a streak here for me to I'm gonna risk that for the biscuit. They're right there, but I am concerned. Now there's smoke, and that's where you catch me running away. Absolutely not. I hear a sniper way back there. We're going to get one of these and hope we can pick up a kill with the grenade here. Oh, they get they cleared them off. Good stuff. That was an enemy. That was an enemy. Where did he come from? So I need to watch my back. Yep. Oh crap, I'm only on a 23? That makes things a little more complicated. I thought I was on like a 25. Okay, so that UAV is a huge help. Let's get this out. Well, now we're on a 25, and now we're at the sketchy hill in the back. Got the nuke. 
All that matters, right? All that matters. We got it. We got a new kind of map that you guys haven't seen me play, so that's good. I don't know if this jump is possible. The answer is no, it's not. There's only one up there, so if we want to go up there, now's the time. Right there. Okay. The only class change I'd make to this class setup would be uh, skeletal stock or no stock. I think a little more sprint to fire speed would really benefit this because I'm not much of a hip fire person. But for those who are, I understand why you're using it. Guy up in there. Oh, uh, it's almost time for me to hit this new. Trying to keep... I, I have a good streak alive, so that's kind of what I'm holding out for here. What's up, teammate? He had a shotgun, he wins. We'll hit that. We'll hit this. Try to pick up a few more kills. Just 75 kills on it. Maybe this map not as bad as I thought. This map is not as bad as I thought. I just got 80 kills on D program. I said the map was small, so there is potential for a lot of kills. Wanna know where I think this map would thrive? Is uh if they did the Vanguard pacings or whatever. Or you could do like 8v8. I think like 8v8 would be a very good pace for this map. Not Let's bad for this bat, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.